Eyewitness News. This is 13 Investigates. And tonight, a soldier who unexpectedly gave birth to a baby in combat is unsure of how her pregnancy was actually missed and what the future now looks like for her son. 13 Investigates reporter Sandra Chapman told you how the military deployed her in her second trimester. Well, now she and her son are facing their own battles in life as the Army remains silent. Life is an adventure for this little fighter. Yeah! But Benjamin has no idea what he survived five years ago. He was born in combat in the mountains of Afghanistan. I fell through the cracks. Ashley Shelton is Benjamin's mother. Her unexpected delivery came with no alert of a pregnancy, no preparation for motherhood, and no prenatal care. I was downrange for four months, possibly. My son's eight months along. When he was born. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense because Ashley took the pregnancy test as required by Army protocol. She says when one came back positive and another negative, a blood test was taken to decide if she would deploy or stay home. But somehow Ashley ended up with the 12th Combat Aviation Brigade in her second trimester, surrounded by heavy fuels and chemicals from the Black Hawk helicopters in use. Yeah. Along the way, she and her son Benjamin were exposed to anthrax and typhoid vaccines, among other meds. They gave us malaria pills, which you're not supposed to take when you're pregnant. No one can say for certain how Ashley's pregnancy in combat impacted Benjamin. Hey, mama. But there's no question they both need help. He does struggle with, you know, walking and he does have a lower speech level than normal. In medical records, army doctors warn Benjamin could suffer from congenital birth defects. His foot is his most noticeable disability. What he lacks physically, he makes up in determination. His spirit without limits. But Ashley knows her baby born in combat will need help combating adverse health issues that threaten the quality of his life. What is the military doing about this? Nothing. It's completely erased. Ashley says she's anxious about the future and, like so many other soldiers, has bouts with PTSD and depression. I'm not going to say I'm the best. I'm not really how I used to be. I do. I am stressed out a lot. I'm trying to slowly move forward. While she's addressing her own challenges, Benjamin is now in the care of family. A soldier and her son, failed once by a military deployment mistake, now left to fight health battles of their own. Family members are working to get Benjamin the attention he needs for his foot as Ashley continues to work to get on her feet. We are still awaiting reports from the Army and we'll bring them to you when we get them. I'm Sandra Chapman with 13 Investigates.